Hello everyone, in this computer vision, robotics and OpenCV tutorial, we explain how to detect an object in a scene by using feature matching. Here is an illustration of the problem that we want to address. We want to detect a specific object in a scene. For example, let us assume that we want to detect a lighter, shown over here, in the scene shown over here. This problem would be relatively easy if we would have only a single object in the scene. However, as you can see over here, we have a number of objects. In addition to detecting the object, we also want to approximately determine the position of the lighter or some of its characteristic features in the scene. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform this task by using the feature matching method. This is a simple method that does not rely upon deep learning or convolutional neural networks. Before we start with explanations, we have to mention that there are a number of approaches for detecting objects in a scene. Feature matching is just one of the approaches. It might not be the most optimal or most advanced approach, however, it's an approach that you should know and that serves as a building block of more advanced and efficient object detection methods. We will cover other approaches in our future tutorials. But before I start with explanations, I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 450 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start with explanation. To detect an object in a scene, we have to have two images. The first image is the image of the object that we want to locate. In our case, it's an image of a lighter. The second image is the image of the scene in which the object is located. Here is the image of the scene. And here is our object as well as other objects. The image of the object is called the query image. The scene image is called the train image. The object detection algorithms extract useful image features from the query and scene images and try to mathematically compare them and find similarities between the extracted features. Generally speaking, image features are areas or sections of images that are easily recognizable. There are a number of types of features. Some of the common features are edges, corners and blobs. A blob is a section of an image that is significantly different from its surroundings. On the other hand, the patterns that repeat themselves, such as a blue sky or a background, are not useful features. There are two important concepts that we need to understand in order to apply the feature matching method. The first concept is the concept of a key point and the second concept is the concept of a descriptor. A key point is a point representation of a small portion of an image that is distinctive and that can be located in another related image. For example, over here you can see key points in our query image and you can see the corresponding key points in the scene. On the other hand, the descriptor is a mathematical description of the key point and which can be used to determine if two key points in two different images are the same or not. In the sequel, we explain how to use key points and descriptors for feature matching. We use the so-called brute force matcher to match features in two images and the so-called ORB or ORB algorithm for detecting features. That is, for detecting key points and descriptors. To summarize, the feature matching method determines the key points and the corresponding descriptors in query and scene images and tries to match them by using a certain mathematical measure. To implement the feature matching method in Python, you would need to have the two images. That is, you will need to have the query image and you need to have the scene image. For example, you can take your phone and you can create similar images. Or you can go to my website, a link is given in the description below, and you can download these two images. Here is how you can download these two images. You do the right click on the image and you click simply on save image as, and you save it as a JPG file. 
pull the image, query image, as an object. Similarly, the scene image, you go to the scene image, do the right click, and save image as, and save the image. Okay, let's start with Python coding. The first step is to import the necessary libraries. First, we import the NumPy library, then we import OpenCV, then we import the plotting function. The next step is to load the two images. First, we need to load the query image. Here's how we do that. We use the function imageRead. We specify the name of the image. And here we've specified this flag. This flag means that we will load the image as a grayscale image. Over here, we import the scene image. The scene image is also called as the train image. Let's execute this piece of code. Okay, and let's type whose. Over here, you can see that we have query image and we have the scene image. Let's display these images, just for a double check. To show these images, we need to type plot.imageShow, and let's first show the query image. Here it is. Let's show the scene image. Here is the scene image. Perfect. Next, we need to initiate the orb detector. The orb detector is used to determine the key points and descriptors in two images. We do it like this. Next, we need to determine key points and descriptors by using the orb algorithm. To do that, we need to call the function detect and compute. This function will compute the key points and descriptors for the two images. Let's do that. Okay, so here are the key points. They are actually OpenCV data structures. And here are descriptors. Descriptors are actually arrays of numbers. Next, we need to use the brute force matcher to detect and to properly match similar features. The brute force match algorithm works like this. It selects a descriptor of one feature in the first set and it compares this descriptor with all descriptors from another set. As a comparison, we use a distance measure. In our case, we are using the so-called Hamming distance. Let us create the brute force matcher. We need to call this function BF matcher. We specify the distance norm, Hamming norm, and we set this parameter cross check to true. Then, over here, we compute the matches by using the brute force approach. We specify descriptors from the query image and descriptors from the scene image. So let's do that. Okay, next, let's sort the detected matches according to the Hamming norm. We do it like this. Over here, we call this the lambda function and we specify the distance as a measure. This is very important. Okay, next, let's generate an image that will show the first 10 matches. To do that, we use this function draw matches, we specify the query image, we specify the key points from the query image, we specify the scene image, and we specify the key points from the scene image. And over here we want to generate first 10 matches that are sorted according to the norm. We specify this flag as non, none, and we specify this flag to be equal to 2. So let's generate an image. Okay, so here is our combined image and over here let's show the image and this image is very important. It will take some time to generate this image and here it is. So our object is properly detected. We were able to match these features shown over here to the features shown over here. And notice these lines that go from this image to this 
image. You cannot see it clearly on this actual image and I will create another image that will more clearly show the key points. However, you can see that the matching algorithm works perfectly. We are able to detect the object in this scene. This is really amazing. Next, let's extract the coordinates of the key points. To do that, we need to create the two lists. The first list will store the key points of the query image, and the second list will store the key points of the scene image. In this for loop, we iterate through the matches and we extract the corresponding key points. So let's do that. Okay, next, I will load my original scene once again, but this time as a colored image. And over here, I will create a string that will plot the X and Y coordinates of the detected key point on the scene image. And I will only plot the first key point. That is, I will mark only the first key point. Over here, I'm creating a figure with the corresponding figure size. I'm showing the scene. Then I'm sketching a circle at the corresponding coordinates, matching the coordinates of the first key point. I'm specifying the size of the circle. I'm specifying the color of the circle, circle and I'm specifying the transparency of the circle. For example, we can adjust this parameter to 0.7. And over here, I plot the text, I save the figure, and I show the figure. So let's see the output. It will take some time, because we are generating an image, and here it is. Here I marked, with this large magenta circle, the first key point of the detected object, and I plotted its position. Here is the position in the x-axis, position on the y-axis, and looks amazing. This is a very simple approach for detecting the position of the object in the scene. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.